Eric, your leader, calling the people of Campbell. Soon you will be able to leave your underground caves and live in luxury. I have made my plans, and the planet Olympus will soon be ours. <laughs> Just a few more days, my son, and it will be time for your birthday feast. Yes, father. Canaric, chief of the planet Campbell, will be coming for peace talks. There will be no more wars between us. I shall see to it that he never returns. But there is room for him here, father. His planet is terrible, almost impossible to live on. You are too young to understand. If we allow Canaric to live here, all sorts of space creatures will want to invade our beautiful planet. At the birthday feast, a bomb placed under his chair will put pay to his ambitions. But, Father, nobody should have to live on the dark Kemble. It's a horrible place. Elixir of life. <laughs> That's a laugh. A special poison that will bring death to Ergon. In three short hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lieutenant, you can take over now. Yes, sir. You can leave everything to me. I sure hope so. If anything comes up, I'll be with Colonel Zodiac. I want to have a word with him before he leaves for his vacation. Wish them all a swinging time, Commander. I'll do that, Lieutenant. You mean you've still got something left after all these? Well, even Fireball wouldn't get off the ground with all this on board. I thought we said we were going to travel light, Venus. But Steve... Oh, now who can that be? Women. Never did understand them. Just dropped in to say goodbye. Is Steve here? Inside, Commander. Hi, Steve. Matt. Hey, what goes on here? Are you emigrating or something? No, it's just Venus's idea of traveling light. You don't happen to have a spare freighter, do you, sir? No, look. All the year round, I wear a uniform. This is my vacation, and I'm going to wear all the most feminine outfits I can. So I don't want any more remarks. Now you kids enjoy your vacation and forget all about your duties. Sure it's nice of you to let us use Fireball for the trip. Well, you've got to deliver those spares to Space Station 6, so you may as well continue on to Olympus in it. I hear it's a real boss place, Steve. Yeah, I saw it once in my early Space Patrol days. I wanted to go back ever since. Stay out of trouble, Steve. There's been bad feeling between the planets Kemble and Olympus for generations. Oh, that won't worry us. This is strictly an unofficial visit. All systems here, read go. All systems here, go, go, go. arrived, my son. Little does he know what awaits him. But, father, isn't there some other way? Allow me to know, my son. 
I only have the good of my people at heart. Greetings, Jankel, and birthday salutations to your son, Ergon. Welcome to the planet Olympus. You are our honored guest. Another bite. I'd say we were somewhere in the vicinity of planet Olympus by now. There's been no course instructions from the professor lately. What's our position, Matt? Uh, pos position? Oh, uh... Are you working on it? Of course I'm working on it. What do you think I'm doing? How many have you caught? Fourteen. I mean, uh, that is... <laughs> You'll get plenty of fishing when we get there, Matt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it might be a good idea if we landed first. Robert's already in central control. course, Steve. I mean retros. The most beautiful planet I've ever seen, Steve. It's everything you said it was. And more. Well, I guess we better find our host, Jankel. I expect he's making last-minute arrangements for the birthday feast. The bomb is fixed. Canaric will sit here alone. And then... <laughs> bang! <laughs> <laughs> Delighted to welcome you all here. But where is your professor friend, Steve Zodiac? Uh, sorry I'm late, folks. Uh, been exploring the planet. Please, take a seat, professor. Oh, oh no, 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 not that chair, professor. Uh, over here, if you please. Uh, that is reserved for our honored guest, Canerick. It is our custom that the honored guest sits alone. Trust Matt to make a federal case out of it. Ah, there you are, Canerick. <laughs> Please take the place of honor at the head of the table. A very special chair for a very special guest. Best meals I've eaten in a long time. Yes, and such exotic fruits. May I drink the elixir of life that Canerick brought for my birthday, Father? Please, allow him to drink, Jankel. The magic contents of the bottle will ensure him a long and happy life. Very well. A toast to Ergon on this his birthday. A long and happy life. Happy, happy birthday, birthday my son. All the excitement. I'll get a sedative from Fireball Jr. for him. Uh, my spacecraft is much nearer Venus. We'll get some from there. Oh, oh, thank you. Now, 
get it. But, but I don't understand. Don't argue. I have poisoned Ergon, and it is all part of my plan. And I don't intend to let you ruin it for me. It doesn't look too good. My poor son. My poor son. That's Canarex spacecraft. He's taking off. Looks as though it's heading back to his planet. No sign of Venus either. Hey, she must be aboard. Let's have a look at that life elixir. Mm. Smells like Glanster, the deadly poison, although we need Venus to be sure. You must go and rescue your doctor of space medicine, otherwise my son will die. I should have known Kenrick is not to be trusted. <laughs> Yeah, I can see. Seems to me there's not much to choose between you. That's enough, Steve Zodiac. Rescue the space doctor and save my son. If you fail and Ergon dies, the professor will die also. You can put that ray gun away. I'm going to rescue Venus anyway, and I'll try and save your son, but the professor is coming with me. Fortunately, you arrived on holiday with fishing rods instead of ray guns. Now you will do as I say. The professor stays here. And if Ergon dies, so does the professor. Good luck, Steve. You've got three lives in your hands. Sure is hot, Lieutenant. Yeah. I wish I was with Colonel Zodiac right now. I could do with a vacation myself. Yeah, I can almost see the professor now taking it nice and easy. You will have just three hours to wait, Professor. Zodiac should be back by then. I hope for your sake he is. He would have helped you. There was no need for this. It shows him I mean business. If he fails, you will die with my son. The arrow will strike when the three hours are up. Uh, some vacation this turned out to be. I sure hope Venus is okay. I am sorry I had to take you away from your friends. But surely you're not going to let Ergon die. It all depends on whether I reach an agreement with his father. I'll call him on the radio now he's had time to think things over. This is Kemble calling Olympus. Kemble calling Olympus. Olympus to Campbell. I am receiving you. You promised to obey the truce. Obey the truce? What about you? I was clever enough to notice the bomb you had placed under my chair. Hmm? Well, what do you intend doing? Your son will die. I have the Earth Doctor here. I shall return with her only when you agree to my people. Taking over Olympus. I'll never agree. And I'm not beaten yet, do you hear? I am not beaten yet. The time passes quickly, Professor. Yeah, too quickly. Your life is in the hands of Steve Zodiac.
how to find Venus. If he's to get back in time, he should have found the space doctor by now. If they return too late, I'll kill them both. Finding Venus here could take hours. I can see a light down there. Better take a look. Did Junker mean? He said he wasn't beaten yet. Perhaps he has an antidote for the poison you gave to his son. No, that is impossible. The antidote is only obtainable from mosses that grow here. I will contact him again. That's lucky. They must work automatically. Campbell calling Olympus. Campbell calling Olympus. Campbell calling Olympus. Campbell calling Olympus. Oh. Oh. Steve, where's Matt? He's being held as a hostage. If we don't get back in time to save Ergon, Matt dies. How long have we got? One hour. Hurry, Steve. My son, my poor Ergon, is getting weaker. Don't worry. Steve will make it. I hope. Prepare for takeoff. Our systems go. Right. Lightning's hit one of our motors. Will it cut our speed, Steve? I guess so. It'll be touch and go whether we make it now. Come on, fireball. There's not much time. Friends have let us down, Professor. Just a few seconds left. I am truly sorry, Professor. Because your death will mean that I have lost my son. Okay, take care of Ergon, Venus. Right, Steve. You made it. Please save my son. First, we'll have the Professor out of there. Forget Colonel Zodiac. Your son Ergon told me there is room for all of your people on Olympus. Now you listen to him. 
He's got more sense than both you tooties put together. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I know. Nice to be friends once more. <laughs> you double crosser. Cigarette? <laughs> well, so much for our quiet vacation. Do you think Jankel and Kenrick will keep the peace, Steve? Your guess is as good as mine, Venus. Oh. This is the life, eh? <laughs> That's for your joke with the gun. You space snake. You Olympian lizard. You Cambrian cockroach. To think that I trusted you. You talk of trust. Fighting again. Radio Steve Zodiac. Fighting? <laughs> of course we're not fighting. What ever gave you that idea? As a matter of fact... Uh... We're very good friends. <laughs> <laughs>